Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a PS4 and on the screen it's showing weak or no signal on a blue background or it just may say no signal on a black background. By the time you watch the end of this video, 100% of you guys should be up and running unless you have a faulty HDMI cable or the HDMI port in the back of your TV is faulty, okay? So first thing is this. With everything on, let's pretend I see like no signal here on the screen. First thing is this. Go ahead and make sure your remote USB, make sure it is unplugged from the PS4 itself. Now what I, what I want you to do is press and hold the power button for seven to eight seconds. Wait, press and hold the button, power button, wait till you hit the second beep, and then go ahead and let go, and that should boot us into safe mode, okay? So here's the power button right here. I'm gonna press and hold, ready, go. There's one beep, wait for the second one. And there's a second beep. Now I can go ahead and let go. Now the thing is, before when I used to do this, it used to boot right into safe mode, but I think because I updated the PS4, now what this does is just shut it off, okay? So now my PS4 is off. Um, some of you guys may, for some of you guys, it may go right into safe mode, okay? If, it, if it's shut off the PS4, then we gotta do is do the same thing again. Press and hold the power button for seven seconds. One, two, three, until you hit the second beep, okay? There's one beep. Second beep is coming. There's the second beep. Go ahead and let go and let's wait. Sometimes this takes like a minute. Okay, wow, right away. Okay, now it says connect your DualShock 4 using the USB cable. So now go ahead and grab your remote control. Make sure it's plugged in here. We're going to plug it into the USB on the PS4 here. And so once it's plugged in, Press the PS button, which is the middle button right here. So tap on that. And now what we want to do is we want to go down to change resolution, okay? So you can't use this. You got to use this over here. So go down, go down one to change resolution. We're going to go ahead and select that. And it says the PS4 will restart after it's restarted. Select the video output resolution. And of course, you can see up here we're in safe mode as well. I'm going to go ahead and okay this. Go ahead and let this uh, restart here. Give this a minute or so to boot back up. Okay, so now this here, the resolution pops up. Select a video resolution. So go ahead, press the PS button to use the controller. So grab your controller, press the PS button right there. And now what you wanna do is you wanna move up and down and you wanna select your TV. Maybe it's a 1080p, maybe it's 4K. This K, this TV is 4K, so I can do 2080, uh, 2160p. But I'm just going to go down to automatic, okay? The thing is, you might have to play around with this, okay? Sometimes you, ha you have it on 1080p, but it doesn't work. But then when you go down to 720, it works. Anyway, or sometimes you just leave it to automatic and it works as well. Anyways, I'm going to leave mine to automatic. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Give this a second here. And voila, so your PS4 should be up and running. Now, if it's still not working, it's still saying no signal or weak and no signal. The next thing I want you to do is this. Go ahead and plug the HDMI cable from the TV here, okay? That's connected to the PS4. So unplug the HDMI cable. Now what I want you to do is unplug the TV and the PS4. So there's the PS4 and here's the TV. They are both unplugged. I'm gonna wait one minute and then I'm gonna plug everything back in. Once the one minute mark is up, first thing is go ahead and plug your HDMI cable back into your TV first. And now go ahead and plug in your TV. And then plug in your PlayStation. Turn on the TV here and turn on the PS4. All right, so finally the PS4 is rebooting here now. And then this will come back around. It should come back around. If, if you still get the no signal after you do all this, do the same thing again. Press and hold the power button till you hit the second beep and then let go and then wait till you get this screen again. Okay, so from here, press the uh, PS4 and then we wanna go ahead and put it to uh, 1080p or 4K or whatnot. I'm gonna go back with automatic. Go ahead and select it. Wait for the PS4 to reboot. And I'll press on okay here. Wait for it to reboot and then hopefully you're back up and running. So hopefully you're up and running now. 
Okay, so if this didn't work, you're still getting a weak or no signal. The next thing I want you to do is this, okay? With everything all plugged in right now and you see the no signal or weak and no signal on the TV, the next thing I want you to do is this. Go in the back of your TV and pull the HDMI plug that's connected to the PS4. So go ahead and pop that out just like that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug only the TV, okay? So the TV is right here. Let me go ahead and unplug this. Okay, so the TV is unplugged, however, the PS4 is still plugged in. Now I'm gonna wait one minute. After one minute is up, go ahead and plug in your HDMI cable first. Put that one back into the back of your TV. And then go ahead and plug in your TV now. Power on the TV. And you should be up and running now. If not, and you still have the no signal on your TV, then from here I want you to go ahead and do this again. Press and hold the power button down till you hear the second beep. Wait for it to go into safe mode and do the whole process again. Now the thing is, if you're still down, it could be an issue with your HDMI cable or it could be the HDMI slot or port that's on the back of your TV. So what I would suggest right now is go ahead and unplug your HDMI from the back of your TV and plug it into another HDMI port. Hopefully that works. If that doesn't, go ahead and try another HDMI cable and hopefully that works. Anyways, guys, hope this worked out for you. Let me know which one worked for you. Any questions, just comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.